How are we today? It's just CPA back here to do another review. Now, for today's review, it's one that I actually did not think um, I'd end up even making a video about because I don't own this pre-workout. Um, I've seen others review it, but it's not one that was really on my radar, even though it's been around for quite a while. I had just never really gotten around to trying it, regardless of how good the hype was behind it and how many people had so many good things to say about it. It just never seemed to be one that I purchased. But um, it was one that I recommended for a friend of mine because he asked me, hey man, I'm looking to buy a pre-workout. Um, what's something I can get that's not like anything too crazy, but is um, focusing on pretty much uh, that drive in the gym, some energy and quite good for focus. And um, I knew that Performex's Hypermax Extreme Pre-Workout was one that's for one in Australia quite cheap. So you can find it for like 65 bucks to 69 bucks Australian, which might sound like a lot um, if you're American, but over here, I mean, for us to buy the top tier stuff, it's like upwards of a hundred dollars. And um, I just suggested it. I didn't know he was going to buy it or anything along those lines, but lo and behold, he did. And then yesterday he said, Hey, you know, I've tried it. I like it. Did you want to try it? So he tried it in one scoop and then two scoops today. And I decided, look, give me two scoops. Give me the full serving, you know. And um, I'll take you through, first of all, what the flavor was like. Um, the one he had was Rocket Bomb flavor. So like Rocket Pop type of thing. Um, it's an interesting flavor. It's not great. Um, it initially tastes okay, but it's got like a very bittery taste. A bit grainy um, afterwards. But it's not awful or anything like that. So to me, it is what it is. It's fine. Uh, overall, I'd say the flavor is very passable. Um, best way I guess I could put it. Um, now, I haven't... I've seen people review it. But this was quite a while ago, like TJ and all them. But I actually don't really know what the ingredients are. I just know it's designed as a focus near Steam Junkie experience type. So, all right. First and foremost, let's look at the ingredients panel. Okay, it's quite a bit of stuff. Um, so it's an 8.5 gram scoop, uh, that's for one scoop, two scoop, obviously would then be 17 grams. All right. So it's six grams of L-citrulline for those juicy pumps. You got taurine as well. Once again, another good pump ingredient. You got that at a thousand, you got Vaso six at 300 milligrams. You got beta alanine at the clinical dosage of 3,200 milligrams. You got betaine and hydrous, one of my favorite ingredients It's just just a good overall ingredient. I, I tend to find it just a nice balancing ingredient. Um, 2,500. Then you've got their extreme focus and mood uh, ingredients panel, which is Theobroma cacao extract. Um, it's nice dosage at 400 milligrams. Um, it, it's pretty much an ingredient that I always tend to find is paired with Araya gerenesis, which I think is awesome because I think those two really complement each other very, very well. Um, then you got, yep, Araya Geronis is right there, 250 milligrams. You got Audium Volga Extract uh, at 60 gram milligrams. Uh, not sure what that is. I don't know if that's a, another name for Hordenine or something along those lines, but yeah, I haven't really heard of Audium Volga Extract. So if anyone does know exactly what the point of it is, I'm assuming it's obviously focus and mood related though. Um, you got the Extreme Energy and Drive portion, which is L Tyrosine, nice at, a, at one gram. Caffeine and hydrous at 400. Once again, decent. Um, I'd prefer it lower. I don't. I just don't think you need more than th like even 300 is a lot. Like we just normalize the idea that like you know 400 is normal, 500 is normal. You know, 600. You've got ones at 650. Then you got citrus aquaritum extract or orangtium extract. Sorry, and then you got thermo thermopsis lancelida extract. A couple of these ingredients I'm actually not too sure about. Um, once again, just being completely and utterly honest, I don't own this pre-workout, so I didn't read the label. I've just seen other people's opinions on it, and it tends to be that it's quite good. All right, so now we've got the taste out of the way. We've got the label out of the way. We come to the main part, which is what was the effects like. Admittedly, when I took it, there was no idea behind me doing a review on it because I, I'd want to own the pre-workout or at least have a few different rotations of it before I give it a try because I've had pre-workouts before where I try it and it feels 
you know, meh, but then you try it another time and it feels great and then it's consistently great again or vice versa. Um, but this one really surprised me. So I figured I may as well. I found this to be such a good pre-workout, like phenomenal pre-workout. It, it's obviously not going to be the steam type of junkie experience of focus that you got from Excelsior, Preface, KO, Crack and all them. But, um, but it's so smooth. It's, you really zone in, you feel nice and happy, but you're chatty, but then you also feel productive. Um, the pumps were decent. I actually found the pumps to be quite decent. Um, the beta hit beautifully. It hit in the way that I absolutely want it to, which is you get tingles. They're not a 10 out of 10 shitting your fucking pants, scratching your butthole out, but they hit you nice and smooth and it's continuous. It's got that sense of, sense of urgency that kind of continues in. Um, the caffeine hit nice and smooth. It wasn't too aggressive. Sometimes anything 400 plus can almost make you feel a bit yucky. Um, I thought it was quite nice. Um, Strength-wise, I felt good. Recovery, I felt good. Um, everything just felt really, really smooth. But as I said before, that focus and mood elements of it is just so freaking lovely. I mean, I took it, it's right here in Western Australia. It's 4.46 p.m. I believe I took it 10.30 and I can still feel it. Uh, but it's not like, oh my God, fucking what, what did I take? Did I overdose? Did I anything? It's just so nice and smooth. And it's kind of kept this level. It's died down a bit, but it's kept this beautiful, smooth level for about, yeah, five hours now, five plus. Um, and the reality is, what more could you ask for for a pre bike card? How would I recommend taking this? I'd say this is something you take a couple of times a week. It's still got, you know, the aroma cocoa extract, that 400 milligrams, the rigerensis, and then some other ingredients, which I'm actually just not too sure about. So... You know, I wouldn't take a ride uranesis as a daily driver. I, I just wouldn't, you know. Um, I think people just overdo pre-workouts as it is. I personally just have come off a nine-day, no ca caffeine at all, no pre-workout, no nothing. Felt phenomenal after it. Felt really shit for the first few days. And then um, I've done the same with, on my days off work, with no training, I have zero caffeine. And then there's certain times as well, like maybe once every five training sessions where I just have no caffeine, no pre-workout. I don't even have pump formula because I don't really need pump formula. I feel like that's just a bonus. And um, and it really allows for something like Hypermax Extreme to work so nicely as it's intended. Um, would I recommend this pre-workout? 100%. Um, in fact, this might be the pre-workout that I recommend above anything because you don't feel yucky with it. Um, it's priced very, very nicely. I mean, I think most people can do a scoop and a half and still feel awesome, which would then give it 30 scoops for, I think in American websites, I've seen it like $33 or something. I mean, that's a steal. And that's no coupon, no nothing. So, I mean, fuck, how do you say no to that? So it's like, when I look at it as an overall package, I have to rate this as one of the best pre-workouts I've ever tried. Is it as good in terms of a one-off as Excelsior, Crack, you know, Dark Energy? No, like, and it's not trying to be because it doesn't have, you know, DMA, DMHA, um, but it's wonderful in its own way. And I hope the label kind of stays like this because I'm going to definitely be purchasing this. All right, I hope you guys had a, uh, lovely day hope you enjoyed the review um for those interested i'll be coming out soon i've trialed crack gold already twice um so i'll be doing a review on that after i try it one more time and then on top of that i've got flame coming in from dark labs and then a few other pre-workouts as well like alpha line superhuman extreme i've got their pump formula coming in i've got um uh, another one that I've tried, which is from Preface, uh, Lean Face, their fat burner. I've tried it a few times, but I'll be reviewing that one soon as well. And I um, hope you guys enjoy it. If you've got anything you suggest, anything you've seen in the market that you think is a must try, please do tell me. Peace out.